my one sole surviving fish to, I don't really consider the other one a fish. It's like an allergy sucker. Allergy? Algae. Okay, also I'm shutting down, dude. Here we go, man, first day. Oh my God. Okay, I think you have my keys. Awesome. Where are you going? I'm going to see my shrink. Here's what happened. So I put out a vote today. I said, I have a 10 a.m. appointment with my shrink. What should we talk about? We have the choices, embarrassing childhood moments, my fears, family drama, or people that I've wronged in the past. Okay. And so um, people that I've wronged in the past All voted. took it. Yeah, with 39%. So I guess we'll start there. I've, I think I've wronged a lot of people. Um, I guess the first person that I can think of that I've wronged would be uh, my ex-girlfriend from high school. Um, okay. I, I wrecked her car. Well, here, here's the situation. She, she was 16. She came to school. She had a brand new uh, Corvette Stingray, which was red. It was just beautifully restored by her father. And I said, oh, can I, can I take that for a drive, please? And uh, I, I went around a corner too fast, hit some rocks, and then hit a fence and ruined the car completely because it's made out of fiberglass and left the scene of the accident. Yeah, then the cops eventually found out it was me and I still haven't paid her parents back for that. So I feel kind of bad about that. Okay, so we've right. talked a lot about how in the past, in I guess when you were under the age of 18 or in high school, that you felt like you wronged people. Right. But it seems like it's really hard for you to think of ways in the last few months or the last year right. that you've wronged people. There have to be ways in which you've wronged people recently. Yeah, uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, this is going to be really uncomfortable to talk about. Um, but yeah, no, I wasn't very faithful to my girlfriends in the past. Um, girlfriends, plural. Plural. I had cheated on a girlfriend, um, and as a result, she has now stolen my necklace that my father gave me that I let her wear, mm -hmm. which sometime soon I'd like to get that back. But mm -hmm. yeah, so that was awful. I so felt she was really angry. Very, very, very angry. Mm -hmm. Very angry. Yes. Do you feel badly about having cheated on her? Um, yeah, I do. Yes, I do. No, I do. I'm just thinking about how, what, like, this is like, I just don't talk about this stuff ever, and to have it be talked about and then taped is, like, a little intense. But what would be even scarier than saying that you feel badly about this is to say that you don't really feel badly about it, right? I guess that would be terrible, yeah. I mean, I feel bad about it, but then, you know, I can justify why I yes. might not what do is the that. Justification? A justification. <laughs> is. What is the, how do you rationalize having cheated on your girlfriend? It was unclear as to where this girl in San Francisco and I were in our relationship, but not to her. To me it was, because maybe I intentionally made him want to make it unclear. I don't know. I learned a lot of, of lessons from that experience, so I haven't, I haven't done that since, you know. I don't, it's bad. That's the last time you, relationships are bad or that's the last Do, time No, that, I mean, sorry, no, that's, no, relationships are okay. I just think it's more wrong that she's keeping this necklace that she knows that is the only thing that my dead father gave me and that she's hanging on to that, you know? I think that's more wrong than me cheating on her. Mm -hmm. And that statement feels more genuine than how badly you feel about having cheated on her. Yeah, I mean, I feel bad that I cheated on her, you know? Mm -hmm. But really, I do think... Because it's something that's not socially acceptable and you find it to be morally wrong. Right. Okay. And I, I do feel that. I do feel that it was wrong, but I still will say that I feel that it's, it's, it's more wrong of her to keep the only thing that my father gave me as punishment. I just think that that's not fair. So you're much more nervous today than I expected to see you. You seem more anxious than I've seen you in the past. Yes. Um, and more anxious than I thought you would be embarking on this project. So I'm a little bit concerned about um, the effect this may have on you. And I'm wondering if you've thought through whether or not you want this all to be um, open, open and yeah, broadcast and, you know, on the internet and, um, yeah. <laughs>